Hello, um, Thomas Fox, 3blenders.com. I uh, want to make some soup. The other video broke off short. So anyways, uh, 12 ounces of 90 degrees water we put into the container. It cooled down a little bit, so I'm going to have to blend it a little longer. But I usually don't like blending in a whole long time because it gets lots of air in it and lots of foam. And uh, if it gets too hot, it will destroy the nutrients. So anyways, I'll put this on. I'll use the um, 64 ounce Omni container, um, some spinach leaves. This is not a very good spinach anymore. We need to buy a new one. And I'm going to use some... Um, this is the, the collard leaf. Just going to put a little bit in there. We're almost out. A um, little, um, oh, look, I got all these stickers on here. We're trying to buy organic, if possible. And this is, this is a good one here. Uh, anyways, I just put, I'll just cut this in half. Um, I'm afraid I'm making too much soup. And <coughs> carrot, and, um, a little bit of onion. <laughs> that's not a little. Uh, that's a lot. That would be a little for me. And garlic. Uh, just take. Garlic is very essential to me. It uh, lowers the um, alkalinity. It's more. It, well, it alkalizes the body. And I put two toes in here. Well, three. Just the way you see me doing it. And. Um, a few wheat sprouts. I use them in many in many applications. Water we have in there, and what else? Um, sour cream. Sour cream, and oh yes, wheatgrass. Wheatgrass juice. We freeze it. We make it actually in our omega. Uh, juicer. We grow our uh, own wheatgrass. Wheatgrass contains chlorophyll. I don't want to tell you functionality, otherwise I'm going to have the uh, have the FDA on my back. Functional foods. Um, yeah. So, anyways, and that's basically it. Uh, all I do. So let's put the container on there. If we need a tamper, I use this wooden stick. And um, look the mess I made here. I'd like to have a little cleaner working application here. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on, and I'm just gonna set it on the 90 uh, second timer, and you'll see what happens. <laughs> So now we're done. 
Uh, let's put it on 60 seconds. That's a thermostat for cooking. That is way too much soup for me. Let's stop. Ideal if you get the hot water from the faucet already, then you don't have to blend so long. temperature. Now the disclaimer is I do it. You may want to do it differently. Follow safety procedures. So I should show you this actually here on the video what it looks like. It's excellent and you can put some, some uh, sprouts over it. Uh, something you know crack as I'm out of it right now. I just was looking for them. And anyways, this is this is the soup. <clears throat> it's spicy. Uh, well, there's onion in it. There's a bunch of garlic in there, and then there is the wheatgrass in there. And <clears throat> wow! Oh, didn't I put what else did I put in there? Well, you saw it. What I put in. Anyway, so this was soup, and you can vary the ingredients. Definitely. Oh, avocado. Avocado goes really well with it. What you do is you just cut the avocado. And this avocado is bad. So, if you want a little crunchy things, you can put the wheat sprouts over it again. It's nice. Just chew your soup really well. You see me chewing? It's pretty spicy. The onion, everything gets so much more enhanced with a blender, with a powerful blender. <clears throat> so, anyways, the Omni runs at about two horsepower blending power. So, that was the soup. Vary your recipes. I'll give you some more recipe ideas uh, in writing um, as we go on with our website. So anyways, have a nice day. 3blenders.com. Remember. Bye.